you can easily get rich this year. But there are some worse spending that, without even coming into your sight, could actually eat up your wealth. Don't worry, in this financial video, we will be telling you the 10 areas where you should never waste your money. Don't skip the video from between where you may miss some important guidelines. Now let's start. 1. New Clothes Listen up, the first grouping is for brand new garments, not for nothing at all. Last year I also had this on my list, but I required new components since I moved to a whole different environment and my body changed. But I pushed myself to just purchase used items instead of new ones. It was the right choice, and I couldn't be happier. Thrift shops have been the source of some of my most treasured garments this year. I have found almost everything I could possibly need, and many of them are of better quality than what I could buy brand new. Shopping at thrift stores has turned into a relaxing pastime of mine. There's nothing like finding the perfect item at a bargain price. The cherry on top is that you may enjoy fast fashion without adding to the global environmental and ethical weight that it carries. 2. On-the-go snacks and fast food Americans often shell out $100 per month for fast food. This has detrimental effects on your health and your bank account. This is something that we are aware of. Fast food only provides one thing, and that is convenience. I understand, I assure you. My performance in this area was severely lacking five years back. This habit has been eating up the budget of many individuals. So you must subtract it from your habit totally. To live frugally is to spend money wisely on things that matter to you. Fast food is in direct opposition to these principles and ideals, at least in my own life. Harmonious lifestyle, well-being, and connection. If you want to know the best tricks to get rich then do press the subscribe button and also the like button. 3. Brand new household goods and decor. Household goods are a great way to easily blow over a budget. Making places you like spending time in is an admirable goal because of the profound effect your surroundings have on you. But if you approach it with an attitude of simplicity and awareness, you may get the effect without breaking the bank. Home shopping may be a waste of money and space wastage, but there are ways to save costs and avoid the hassle by second hand, do it yourself, and put things to bed. 4. Fictional Novels Sometimes nothing beats taking a leisurely stroll around a bookshop while sipping a mug of coffee. Then you realize you're really getting $100 back for only three books when you reach the checkout. You shouldn't sacrifice your stability for the sake of reading, which is a vital and beneficial habit. This is very moving if you read quickly. You may also get amazing books at second-hand shops and libraries, but a Kindle is the best. After putting off purchasing an e-reader for what seemed like an eternity, I finally did it this year, and I've read more books than in the last 10 years, all while saving money. There are a lot of books on Amazon that cost between $1 and $5, and Kindle Unlimited is a membership option that comes with a ton of reads. It is a really practical tool because of the frequent book deals and the compatibility with Amazon gift cards. 5. Items for Enjoyment Most people have a project's drawer, container, or box in their home if they are dreamers. After barely a day or two, many give up on their hobbies. Like me, you most likely also have Michael's receipts stashed away somewhere as evidence of your exceptional beginning skills. Crafting and hobbies in general have many advantages, but financial gain isn't one of them. This is particularly true if the pastime consists mostly of exploring other things. 6. Various Items for Personal Hygiene the idea of buying a new edition of a product before the old one ran out would never have occurred to previous generations. 
This is something we do often, however. Even though we probably have more personal care products than we can use before they expire, many of us still follow every advice and watch every TikTok video that shows the greatest new one. A project pan was all the rage on YouTube not long ago. If you were using a cosmetic product, the concept was that you wouldn't replace it until you hit pan or ran out. Aside from the obvious financial benefits, this also makes organizing the bathroom much simpler and does away with the need to settle with subpar options. 7. Evenings Out It is crucial to spend quality time with your spouse. Imagine instead if you could enjoy a night without spending $100. How beneficial it would be if you could find inexpensive or free activities to do together. Simply being in each other's company, playing a board game, going for a stroll, baking or cooking, or even simply hanging out might seem like a date. This discussion card by Wild House Paper is a great way to get to know your spouse better and have meaningful conversations to start your time together off well. 8. Things that depart from the three-day rule. If you're trying to live frugally, you know how terrible impulse purchases are. The impulse buy that you didn't plan ahead for, even if it tastes wonderful at the time, ends up costing you more in the long run. No harm done. Allow yourself a certain amount of time, I allow myself three days, to go home, study the item, read reviews, and consider the value it would genuinely bring to your life, unless it's an emergency, of course. Your question is answered if you put it out of your mind. 9. Presents you have no idea they'll appreciate. Almost nothing compares to the delight of surprising a loved one with a thoughtful, personalized present they are sure to treasure. But how can you proceed when your mind is blank? Many of us just aimlessly wander the mall till we discover something average, or we look up what other people their age and in their stage of life would want online. Mainly, you should aim to go for cheap items if you have no idea what the person may like or need. It may happen that you bought an expensive gift and discovered that he was already having that product. 10. Expensive things you have no use for. A few of larger items wind up necessitating our purchase annually. A new trash can, a mattress, and automobile tires. Have you seen the price tag on those? I learned the hard way that it's not worth it to buy subpar versions of things that are very essential. For a long time, I thought it was self-evident that we should get the greatest version we could find if we couldn't achieve our heart's desire. On the other hand, I will never do that again, even if it may be true for tires or safety goods. Until we can save up enough money to purchase what we really want, we've been getting by with purchasing or borrowing the cheapest version of what we require. With the exception of the mattress, we were able to outfit our whole apartment for $150 via Facebook Marketplace. In this approach, we may save up for the things we really want before we move into a place we want to remain. That's all for today. Now you know all the worst places where you should never waste your money. Many people get into the trap of wasting their money on such places, but you should never get into it. Press the red subscribe button below if you have not done yet. If you want to know the best financial news the fastest then do press the subscribe button. You won't get disappointed after doing it that LL the millionaires like Sir Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, and many others suggest that you should invest your money and never waste it. Actually most of the people waste their money on these places. These are very difficult to master. Mainly to control your urge to buy something you need to control your mind. Press the like button also if you learned something new and enjoyed watching. Share this video with everyone, including your friends, colleagues, cousins, family members, and all others. Add a comment below if you are left with any queries. Thanks for watching the video till here.